Good day everyone, my name is Colin and for today's video I'm actually going to be creating a follow-up to my previous video a few months ago. Uh, it's about the Terraria server. Now the thing is, the reason on why I'm creating this is not only because of the, uh, the new update for Terraria which is 1.4.1.1, but it's also because of the, a few complaints like my mic wasn't that very good and that there was a lot of background noise I guess. Uh, either way, I do hope that you'll be able to enjoy this video now, and yeah, I'm not gonna be creating an intro because it's very unnecessary, I don't really like intros, and same with begging for subscribe, and etc. Anyways, why don't we begin? So the first thing that you have to do is to find your Terraria server. Now depending on where you downloaded it, uh, it, can be, it can be in different files. For me, I bought it at Steam. If you bought it at Dog Games, and I have another solution, but if you found it externally, like from Pirate, like you're pirating the game, or if it's from your friend, then it might be problematic. Anyways, let's go with Steam at first. Let's go with Steam first. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is to go to your library, and then go to your Terraria, right click, and press properties. After that, go to your local files, and browse local files. Now you may X these two things. Okay. So after doing that, you have to make sure that you either create a shortcut or just move it here. Um, for me, I created a shortcut just for convenience and that it's the same thing. I just don't want to lose the original file, so it's best to just create a shortcut. It still ends up with the same thing anyways. Now let's go with dog games. Oh, uh, I got dog games before in my old Terraria video, and yeah, over here, let's ask, the thing is, I don't have Terraria anymore since it will mess up with my current Terraria files, but for this case, let's pretend that this is Terraria. So over here, it says it's poor, but don't worry, it's Terraria, let's pretend it's Terraria. So basically, there will be another file here which says Terraria server, it's literally the same thing. Uh, you either move it or create a shortcut. That's basically it. Uh, again, if it's external, like from your friend, then I have, then you might have to find it yourself, like where the Terraria server is. But for Steam and God games, then I guess that's a solution. Anyways, now let's double click and wait for it to load. Okay, so there are three things that you'll notice here. There are numbers, there are there's a new world, and there are there's the lead world. The numbers represent the worlds that you have in your current client. So for me I currently have five worlds. Three of which are test worlds just for mods and for other stuff, but for convenience let's create a new one. Again, these are optional. Uh, you don't have to follow this part, it's just that for convenience, I'll do the minimum for uh, better efficiency in processing the video. So let's go for small, classic, world name, let's just go for banana, just us. Uh, the seed, random, uh, press enter, and just wait for it to load. Now depending on the world size, it may take from a minute to three minutes. It also depends on your RAM and space. Essentially. All you have to do is to just wait. Okay, I think that's pretty much done. Okay, so now you can see here that there are six worlds now, and you'll actually find that here, uh, which will be shown later. So yeah. Uh, again, the server world that we just created is banana, so let's press number one. And from there, uh, I have actually a tip for this one. The max players should be at the minimum. The reason why, it's because it takes up resources if it's 16. Obviously, it depends on the hardware of your computer. Either way, uh, depending on how many people will be able to play on your server, it's best to keep it at minimum. So I guess the best one is like 4, but for me, my case, I'll just do enter which is 16, or just put 16. Okay, for the server port, 
uh, this is very important. You have to make sure to always put 7777 or just press enter which will automatically go to 7777. This one, you have to make sure it's N. The reason why is because we're doing tunneling, not port forwarding. That's literally what the title of the video. Okay, now the server password. For convenience, let's just do nothing. Press enter for none. And it will automatically load. It will literally take like 3 seconds. Now, this will show up from time to time, a debug file. It just means that there's an error, since you can't find a path, but don't worry. Usually, there's not that much of a problem there. It's just a bug that this automatically fixed. If it's a problem, it would have shown here, but it didn't, which is fine. Uh, another way to find a problem is if you just do save and nothing happened. So, yeah. Now you have to find out this one. Uh, you may just find it in the description below, but if you don't want to, go to Google or any browser that you prefer and search this playit.gg. Once you press that, you just press download. And once you download it, you'll automatically move it here. Once you automatically move it here, I meant once you download it, it put it here at your desktop which is this thing and then exit this exit this as well and then from here just double click this okay so the premise of what's happening here it's basically it's basically finding the best tunnel that's near to your the place that you live uh, the reason on why it's because again it's not port forwarding it's tunneling it's like a better alternative for people who doesn't want to mess with your internet router Anyways, uh, assuming that you're new, all you have to do is add tunnel, and from there, ignore this and ignore this, just press add. Uh, again, there will be a guide once you start here. All you have to do is press yes, yes, done, which already downloaded it, and everything else is press yes. And yeah, it's basically done, and just go back there, manage your tunnels. And now you're back here. Uh, just press left click and right click and copy it and you're basically done. Now you not only manage to connect to create a server but you manage to connect it to a tunnel. So now all you have to do is to minimize them, make sure you don't close them since obviously that will close the server and just go to your Terraria. Okay, so once you're over here, all you have to do is to press multiplayer, join via IP, uh, choose any character, and since assuming you're new, you're just gonna go for name. I'm not gonna do anything there. I'll just my current account. Uh, co co paste it, and remove the semicolon to the number, but you must remember the number. And then, from the server port, it's not 7777, in fact, it's 55077, the one that I have. It depends on you as well. So for you, it may be like 696969. <laughs> yeah. So just press accept. It will automatically connect to the server. Now, the thing is, there's a problem currently, and it just stays in the found server thing. The reason why it's you're not, well, the reason why you're not able to connect is because of three reasons. One, it's most likely because of your internet. For me, it's my internet since it's very slow right now. And I'm trying to get by. Uh, yeah. Uh, another reason is because the tunnel may have not yet updated to the current version of Terraria. And I assume that that's not the current problem. But from time to time, that may happen. And another reason on why it's because of uh, your Terraria server. Uh, currently, it's 1.4.1.1. For me, it's also 1.4.1.1, and yeah, it's basically the same. So, for me, the problem is the internet. Sometimes you have to wait, sometimes problematic, but essentially, that's the premise of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, uh, I'm sorry if you weren't able to connect since from time to time this may not work, but 
again, this is an alternative to port forwarding. Uh, it's safe, it's efficient, but from time to time it may not work. Don't worry though, we're actually finding a fix for it. If that's the case, like server side it. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to be creating another video about Terraria mods, like Tmod Launcher or whatever it's called. I'm going to be making one. Because it's actually possible. I actually played Calamity with my friend, with my friend a while ago, and we managed to finish it. Of course, there are a few bugs in create in the server, but then again, mods, Terraria, friends, it's very fun. Uh, I'll be creating one later or tomorrow. It really depends on my schedule, and I managed to just get some free time today, and apparently it's Friday. Anyways, uh, yeah, again, if you enjoyed it, please, uh, if you liked it, then like it. If you disliked it, then dislike it. It really depends on you. Uh, if you love my content, or if you want more news regarding this, then subscribe. If you don't, then don't subscribe. Uh, bye.